can't use dirty words. We can't use the tape then. Oh, I know. I Oops. Know. Oops, he did. He did. He, oops. We might be able to blur it out. I haven't started the tape yet. Oh, so you caught all his naughty potty talk? No, no, no. Gosh. Henry got some potty mouth on him sometimes. No, 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 no. So, good. What are you doing with those things? Why are they back on? No, I don't you don't need them. You don't need that. You're, you're a demon. You're playing a special part of the drama. I don't need your hat. Drama. Don't need a hat. Nope. Not we yet. do need, oh my, our microphone <laughs> fell over. Did that cause a big clatterous sound up in there? Cool, I guess it's not really on then. But it didn't cause a big clattery sound. How is that possible? There we go. This is a cute little bear. Yeah. And this is a big, big yeah. bear. Can you hold on to the big, big bear? I hit that big bear. Okay, and he's the demon. Because the big bear is haunted by demons. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, just stay with me, Henry. Uh, yeah. All right, we're doing John Steinbeck's, oh, a dramatic rendition of John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. The Nobel Prize winning novelist would be proud to know that our little theater troupe here is doing the best we can. Okay, no. This is Lenny and George. They're friends. Ooh, do 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 do. They hang out. Do do do. Yep. Do 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 do. And they live out in Central California doing stuff, or on the coast, somewhere in there. I don't really remember the book all that well. Anyway, they're hanging out. Do 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 do. Okay. And we need to get. But the large one, this one here, is not all that bright. Maybe aliens came and sucked out his brains, we don't know, or a dinosaur bit him and he got stupid. But anyway, he is the big dumb one, and he is plagued by the demon, the demon inside him. Yes. There. And because of his size, he ends up causing issues. Causing problems. Causing problems, of course. He's big. Anyway. He likes bunny rabbits. And so we don't have any rabbits, we're gonna have a kitten. Okay, pet the kitten. Pet the kitten. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Bunny rabbit, that's a bunny rabbit. Act bunny-like, kitten. Hop, hop, hop. Good, okay. And he loves his bunny, but sometimes he's a little rough and he crushes them. Oh, there's the bunny he flew in. Here. Yes. He loves his bunny. You know? And he ends up crushing them, petting them too hard, and they're like all messed up. The demon inside. Demon inside him. Ruins. Ruins the scene. Well, the little guy comes on. Oh, you know, he's just dumb and stuff. It's okay. Don't worry about him. Just... Don't worry, it's cool. Until one day, he's not petting a bunny, he's petting a prostitute. No. I know I said the word prostitute. Well, I don't know. A licentious woman. We'll to, well, we might edit that, we might not. We don't know. Anyway, well, Red can do anything, so he'll play the, the tawdry woman. And he's like, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, I want to go. No, don't go. Oh, oh, oh. Crush, crack bang. Oh, and he's like, dude, dude, dude. Oh. NC. I love you. Ta da. That's how you win a Nobel Prize, writing a story like that. Good job, Mr. Demon. The demon that knows some things is a heck of an actor. So, we're gonna cut so we can uh, change his head. This is the Scarecrow.
bad day to have, Henry. <laughs> there he goes. Look at him. Looks like he always does. Henry-like. Yes, indeed. Henry Shakespeare, author, drummer, god about town. Yes, indeed. Yes. And you, you see the two of us, like this. Yes, yeah, so on the camera, like this. We are what you call heathen. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. We are heathen. So what are heathen in the Bible? Well, there you go. When they talk about heathen in the Bible, they're talking about people a lot like us. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You say that in a very weird way. I don't know if I should be frightened. Anyway, anyway, I'll protect myself with these. Yes. When you're worried about the way people are chatting around you, wave toys at them. See what happens. There. It doesn't always work. It doesn't always work? No. Uh-oh. So, Henry, what are you doing? What are you up to right now? Are you planning trying something? To... Yes, I want to destroy the world also. He wants to destroy the world. Why do you want to destroy the world, Henry? It's already going to end. Because I want it to end. But it's going to end. Why do you want to destroy it? Because that way when it ends, I can have fun with it. I, that's a paradox. I think Henry has just laid out a paradox. I want the world to end, but I want to hasten its end so I can be amused by the ending. Okay, then. So there you go. Henry wants to end the world. Well, you see Henry in your neighborhood, you know what he's up to, and you might want to jingle the authority. There you go. Right, Henry? That's right. He needs to be watched. Like that. All right, we're hot. We're hot. So... We have a few things to straighten out here at Captain Salty since we like to straighten things out. We need to. We love to do that. And sadly, this is not an actual gorilla. No. He is not, he admits it, from Africa, despite the label. Plus. He is actually a fuzzy toy. What should we say? Tragic, though it may be. And although we thought we were a nature show, apparently we're lacking in our knowledge of nature. It's not really natural, as they say. Yeah, not natural. Uh, natural. We said it that way originally. Go back and check the tape. Mm -hmm. Also, this small ape, you know, we call them apes because they prefer the French pronunciation. It's more cultural, it's more elite. He will retain his underwear. He promises, though it be dingy, to retain it throughout the program. There we go. Yes. And what about this one? Captain? This one is obviously not eating this banana. He admits that this banana is a prop. Yes. He is sad. He wants to be sad with you. Okay. Yes, he loves that. They all want to be sad with you. Except him, he is already dingy enough. He needs to wash his underwear. He does need to wash his underwear. It is rather so, as we say. Or natural. It is natural. It is very, very, as you can see, very natural. Yes. Thank <laughs> you.